Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a very exciting video. This has been very long awaited by me. I've been waiting to do this because I wanted to film it for my channel. I know how much you guys love these videos. So if you've clicked on this, you know what video it is. If you've accidentally stumbled on it in a playlist, this is my decluttering my wardrobe. Well, I say this, it's gonna be a wardrobe reorganized. I don't wanna like get rid of a ton of stuff. I don't wanna just get rid of stuff to get more stuff in. That is not the point of this video. Obviously I do shop a lot. So there will be a slight clear out element to this because I do need to like go through things. There might be things that I've worn for jobs or shoots or stuff like that, that I can just kind of like pass on to charity, friends, family, that kind of thing. Nothing is ever thrown in the bin. But the main point of this is to reorganize my wardrobes because because we're currently at a point where things are starting to get a bit out of control this i never want this to look like this ever again my dogs are going crazy please ignore them i never want that to be that messy again like you know if it's like folded and it's neat that's a different story and it's like meant to be that way yeah that like this this is not good. I'll link my previous uh, wardrobe tour so you can see what it did look like. You can see like, you get to see part of the wardrobe. And we have this. Yes, there is a room. We have more stuff to go in the wardrobe. I had some stuff from Urban Outfitters yesterday. I did a job with them. And then we have this room where there are clothes. Clothes. They just kind of chill there at the moment because Lois is in the background. Hello. So there are clothes in the office that have been in there for whatever reason. They've just ended up in there and I don't have space to put them back in here. So they just live on the bed in the office, which is really annoying because if people want to stay over, I have to do something with that or just throw them on the floor or just apologize for the fact that the bed is not ready for people. So that needs to all come back in here. So we have got our work cut out for us. I actually have a free weekend. So I thought that this was the perfect weekend to do this. I've done a wardrobe, like how I clear out my wardrobe, like theory video um, a couple of years ago. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link it in the info box because it will describe the stages of cleaning out my wardrobe if you want to go and watch that. Uh, Cause this is more gonna be more kind of like chilled vlog. If you like watching people like get rid of stuff and reorganize and fold things and just sort their life out, this is the video for you. I'm hoping it's gonna be therapeutic. So I also have the chest of drawers which is all clothes except for this one drawer here, which houses snacks and a lint roller. And what else does it have in it? A suitcase weighing thing and a duster for when I need to clean my mirrors and I'm doing videos. It's a, it's a mess. There's all of these drawers, basically bar one, I need to clear out. So let's, let's get on with it because this could take me a weekend. I'm genuinely concerned this might actually take me a full weekend. I'm going out for drinks with Poppy later and I might have to just leave my room in a state and be like be right back need rose um so yeah let's let's see how we get on i'm gonna prop you down here and wish me luck also if anyone's wondering about my hair i had it done by uh braid babes i think that's what they're called they are brighton based they go into top shop sometimes so i've got like lilac woven through my boxer braids which is so cool so yeah that's what's going on with my hair today and um, time lapse take a moment because before this all goes this this here was a wardrobe rail purely for jackets if that ain't living your best life I don't know what is okay so we are making progress we have one empty wardrobe with some crap at the bottom we have this wardrobe which the structure of this wardrobe is fine it just needs reordering loads of the stuff in it I just loved and wanted to keep so this is all just kind of it looks pretty much the same as when I started it's just gonna be there's gonna be other things amongst it I'm gonna rejig 
it's all going to be great it just needs to kind of come out but the structure of it is already good so I didn't feel the need to completely take everything out um, and just throw it all on the bed when it's going to probably go back in the same place anyway um, whereas all of the stuff in this wardrobe there were like coats amongst dresses it was a complete shambles it made absolutely no sense so I've emptied that one completely um, then we have this wardrobe over here which was kind of a mixture of things that I've loved wearing this year and jackets and it made no sense again and then it was just so much here it was ridiculous it was starting to like bow a little bit there were so many clothes like jammed in there um, and this is my like jumper section which I know there is a jumper section in here so that needs to just kind of be visited and figured out the majority of this is solid it's good I'm happy with it I've got denim shorts and trousers no, actually there's not really many trousers I think it's mainly mainly denim shorts and skirts down the bottom belts those kind of accessories then we've got really thick jumpers that I don't want to really hang up um, and they're just happy living in a drawer um, so we have it's very it, it's a bit jammed it's a bit packed but um, yeah we've got like Christmas jumpers and then an array of very nice neutral colored jumpers um, which lives in that drawer then this drawer here is going to be scarves of course um, then we're gonna have hoodies like sweatshirts and stuff like that and then we've got lighter jumpers there and then for the past few months this top drawer has been t-shirts and tops and like tops that um, are like not basic pieces so I just know where they are and it's much easier for me to like see them in here because this isn't a very deep drawer whereas those drawers are just beyond ridiculous I think that system will kind of stay and then this top part I actually think I want all of my coats in it and then the dresses and stuff like that that were kind of tagged on the end will go down there having a bit of a rejig but now my task is to go through all of this hang it if it doesn't already have a hanger sort it out I kind of need to section everything um and so I can like put it all it, all in together in my wardrobe so I'm going to be making a lot of piles of things like this bit gets a bit tedious when you're like deciding like whether something is staying or not that's fine but when it comes to like the actual like putting it all back in I'm just like I'm, I'm not here for this I think that's probably most people's favorite bit not mine what's your favorite bit of cleaning out your wardrobe is that a stupid question does anyone enjoy cleaning out their wardrobe does anyone really enjoy it I don't know if I do I love the idea of it and I love the end result but does anyone enjoy the process? I lose the world to live. now at a point where in this wardrobe my end wardrobe I have all of my long things this is as my wardrobe started out when I first moved in here I had long things in this wardrobe and that worked really well for me so I have all of my long summer dresses evening dresses and then skirts in here and then I will have some boxes down the bottom that are um, summer things that are very very summery so a lot of these things are summer but I will rewear them for winter summer holidays whereas the other summer things I'm, I know if I go to like Dubai this winter I won't wear those things but I will wear 
these. So these are kept out for a reason, they're kind of like autumn summer things, if that makes sense. They're summer things that can be worn on winter holidays is what I'm trying to say. So then we have this wardrobe which is looking a bit sparse at the moment, we need to take the hangers out and we're going to fill those. Oh this is the thing I hate about these little rose gold hangers, they just don't come out. Um, there we go. So in this wardrobe is going to be um, a few cardigans and jumpers that are just, these jumpers are just ginormous when you fold them and they're quite stiff so they don't squidge in very well so they're just a bit of a pain to fold and they actually don't react too badly to being on a hanger so this is just the way things are rolling with that. I've got a few t-shirts, then some shirts and blouses, camis, then we go into day dresses and then we've got evening dresses and play suits and evening things, some evening-y type skirts. This section here is kind of a miscellaneous section of things I don't want to get rid of because I just genuinely adore the items in here but they're not things that I'm wearing right now so this shirt my mum bought me for my birthday and I absolutely love it. I'm not going to be wearing it really right now but I am not getting rid of it. Um, just like pieces that are a bit special to me are kind of like at the end but they don't get worn a lot but this is all kind of regular wear we have my jeans down the bottom which are now all cleared out and nicely sorted and folded again we're back we're back in business this is should be really for me and my style this should be my most used um section of my wardrobe and i really don't use it enough i have been really bad with it this year um this whole wardrobe situation got out of control this year and i'm never getting back to that again um i've just been a bit busy and my priorities have been skewed so that has got the love and TLC that it finally finally got the love and TLC that it needed is what I'm trying to say and then this wardrobe over here like I said we've got everything like jumpers and stuff and then we have all of the coats in there and they are living happily there these are going to go in the bottom drawer and then we have this so we have t-shirts and tops down here that either need to be folded or hung. We have some shorts that need to go in that bottom short straw there. We have some random rogue tracky bottoms there. This is my still to be, oh that wait that's a summer dress that needs to come out. Um, this is a pile of jumpers. This pile scares me. This is basically, apart from these two knitted ones on the top, this is all like sweaters which I need. Like genuine, like oh, I'll explain. I genuinely like need um, and I love sweaters and hoodies and things like that so that we need to find a home for those. I'm thinking we may have to sacrifice that top drawer being tops for sweaters. And then we have rogue pyjamas that seem to have found their way into that wardrobe over there and I don't really understand why but we have some extra pyjamas so they're gonna have to go in here but this is full so this whole thing here needs to be sorted. Um, I may do that tomorrow. Um, yeah, we're, we're making waves. It doesn't look like it, but we've made real progress here. I also have these boxes here, which are things that I love, like summery things. These are the summery things that are going away, but also like some jumpers that I haven't really got enough wear out of this winter. And I don't want to give them away because I really love them. So basically sometimes I put things away to see if I'll wear them the next season um, rather than jumping the gun and giving things away too fast. So um, yeah, I've got summery dresses that are just very, very summery and I, and I won't wear from now on because it is basically September now. So yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> Okay, it's been a hot minute since we last spoke, but we have nothing on the bed, which is really exciting. So in here we have long dresses, archived stuff, which is like summer or old or winter that I'm unsure on. Ah, the lights are back. <laughs> this is when you know the wardrobe is slightly more organized if I crack the lights out um, and actually turn them on for once. Um, so yeah, this is, the main wardrobe, we've got a few extra hangers up there which is great 
Um, this drawdown here, I'm going to have a look at tomorrow. I'm going to revisit this. I've already kind of looked at it a bit. But when I do that draw, I will know like whether I can get rid of some of my old gym stuff and whether I have enough. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of going to be revisited. I've got a couple of pair of boots, pairs of boots there that were like chilling out outside. And then I have this wardrobe, my jackets, space for more. This is like not too jammed, which is great. These are the little tops, like these are tiny, like little, um, like halter necks, um, a couple of bodies, like, um, what do you call these, like bandeau tops. I'm not sure what to do with, so I'm gonna wait until that is sorted and then I will revisit that. These might just sit there as well, because then I can see them. Um, then we have this drawer, which has space for extras, which I am very, very happy about. Um, so this is all of my like sweaters and hoodies i feel like that some are missed some are definitely missing i think they're in the wash um that'll be the scary thing when i bring things out the wash and i have to home them knitted jumpers and scarves and we've been through all of this there's shorts and stuff down here shorts skirts tracky bottoms that. lovely lovely jubbly so then tomorrow i'll be tackling these one two three four five six not those, these two I don't really need to worry about, but um, yeah, this side especially is, let me just show you, it's a hard mess. Um, we also need to sort through bikinis, there is a good amount of space in my little archive box in there for me to put some bikinis in, because during the summer, bikinis kind of like overflow into many drawers, so I want to condense that down to a one and sort this out that's a there's a lot of gym stuff and like t-shirts and gym sweaters and stuff in there i need to like ha have a good sort out i'm so looking forward to that so that is day one of my clear out done i will see you guys tomorrow i'm not looking forward to the drawers i always find that these are slightly more entertaining because it's not it's like different stuff whereas those drawers are like mostly like t-shirts and bikinis and just things that aren't very exciting or are really bitty so Good morning everybody, so today is Saturday, I am having a no makeup day and today we're going to tackle these drawers, as I said yesterday. I think it's going to be fairly quick, um, lots of it will just be refolding, reorganising, um, but then I just think the pyjama drawer here needs a real good clear out, like pyjamas are one of those things you wear them so often, they get really gross really quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a sort through the pajamas, just have a sort through everything, make everything all neat and tidy. My wardrobes, day two, have remained tidy. Very, very happy with them. Yeah, so pretty, so organized. This one's actually my favorite. Like, I just really love all of the prints in it. Um, that's the thing that bugs me about this wardrobe. It's just, I don't like the way that all of the clothes fit together. Oh, I was actually, I was gonna ask, I was thinking about having, um, how do I explain this? Like having pre-made outfits within this wardrobe. So having like a section maybe here or over there. And it's like outfits that I wear regularly. So like in my autumn to summer transition video, when I do videos like that, putting them in a section so that I just have like a section that is like ready to wear. Do any of you do that? If so, how do you structure it? How do you do it? How do you put all the things together? Um, if anyone has any videos on it, I would love to watch that. Um, that is my question of the day. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, drawers. I'm rewarding myself with pizza after I finish this. Woo!
has been a while. We have reached a good stage. One drawer of t-shirts, bodies, any kind of top that is, you know, like there's jumpers at the back here, like a couple of like light jumpers, which I'm not really wearing right now, like my old pearly one, lots of Oliver Bonus ones. Not wearing right now, but I don't want to get rid of them because they're still in really good condition and I think I might re-wear them again, um, maybe like next year. So I tend to hang on to things for like, you know, the six month rule, if you haven't worn it in six months, I ignore that because sometimes you have real regret for throwing things away. Um, we have a very empty drawer here. This is just my gym stuff. And then we have loungewear and pyjamas, stuff like that. Um, lots of this is like, so we have my proper like wintry pyjamas down the bottom. Um, and then the top drawer is like um, kind of novelty jumpers. Under here there's like lots of like novelty um, t-shirts that I wear to bed um, and they're kind of like lots of them like 80s retro or whatever and I just will never get rid of them so they're pajama t-shirts and I've actually decided to leave bikinis because I might go away next month I might go away in October and I might go away in November so so sort law I will pack something that I'm actually going to want to take with me um, so I'm gonna leave that for a couple of months and just see how I get on. So that is it for my little wardrobe reorganization video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. Lots of you have been asking when I was gonna do one next. Um, I think it was noted that I hadn't done one for a year, basically. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon. Love you lots, bye.